Yeah, I mean, I think the, uh, there's a excitement about uh, combining PD-1 inhibitors with um, with uh, VEGF TKIs. You know, our data last year that was presented at this meeting um, of uh, uh, of pembrolizumab and cabozantinib really was very encouraging with responses um, above 50% uh, for patients treated on the combination, a relatively well-tolerated regimen, um, and a, a, a signif an, an impressive, I should say, not significant, but an impressive uh, progression-free survival. Um, we're still looking at uh, follow-up um, evaluation for these patients to look at basically the duration of response because but the, at the time of the analysis, uh, the median duration of response was not reached. And so I think I think the results of such a trial plus the uh, expected results of the LEAP10 study will uh, potentially change the landscape. What I would say is there is uh, also uh, important emerging data in HPV negative disease and um, this um, basically focuses on uh, trying to overcome EGFR resistance with or without immunotherapeutic uh, combinations. So for example, we have the pembrolizumab cetuximab combination and nivolumab cetuximab combination, both of which seem to, um, to indicate that this uh, combination strategy is a winning strategy in HPV negative disease. Um, and um, at this ASCO meeting, uh, there is data on a, a dual uh, uh, EGFR TGF beta, uh, uh, you know, uh, inhibitor. Uh, even though the study number of patients was small, does suggest some generous responses up to 44% uh, in, in patients predominantly with HPV negative disease. So I think uh, there's also the data on combination of cetuximab and ficlituzumab, which appeared recently as a publication, and that also uh, is another mechanism of resistance to EGFR which is uh, uh, resistance through MET. And so I think there is that direction also where the field is going into uh, figuring new modalities for HPV negative disease. And of course for HPV positive disease, um, the immunotherapeutic strategies are varied um, uh, and uh, they, they basically, uh, there's a wide range of, uh, of approaches including vaccine uh, therapy, even though we have yet to see uh, strong data from, from vaccine trials or definitive data from vaccine trials, uh, but certainly um, uh, certainly um, bioengineered molecules uh, that are targeting, uh, targeting HPV epitopes uh, and, uh, and, uh, and also triggering the immune response through engagement of the T cell. Uh, through the engagement of the uh, of the anti-tumor T cells uh, are really interesting, and we've seen some updates on that uh, at this ASCO meeting as well.